What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Shout out to the Kofi gang. Shout out to Dan, my bro is back in the house. As you guys have requested more content with both of us, man. And shout out to Python Song and Don. Yeah. In the house. <laughs> Beat his army, man. And shout out to all the Jimmy fans. Hey, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you said that. Yeah, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Man. <laughs> Look, we love this. We love doing this. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to check out um, actually one of the hardcore videos of BTS. So this is not going to be all fun and dandy. This is actually going to be serious because this is the BTS hardships from 2013 to 2021, which is actually um, doesn't really cover the whole thing because there's 2022, 2023 too. But anyway, that's the best that we have currently. So this is the mistreatments, the accusations and all of that. You guys have already seen my reaction to it. So this is the time I'm showing Dan just to give him some perspective. The journey that BTS actually has been through, although we discussed some of that in our previous video when we checked out the introduction, I wanted to give him a little bit of an in-depth perspective that Excelest gave us as well. So let's check out BTS struggle through the years as well, man. You ready? Let's go. Oh, let's go. I'm ready, bro. Yeah. Ready. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's go. This video was not made in order to relive the sadness or to hold grudges against others. This video was made to remind us that BTS didn't rise to success without facing hurdles, and these events have created a stronger bond between BTS and ARMY. June 13, 2013. BTS yeah. were only able to debut because the scheduled performers cancelled. BTS was a filler. Even after debuting, they couldn't get much airtime. Their performances were either shortened, cut from broadcasts, or not uploaded for online consumption. Do you Did you hmm. hear the beginning the beginning of it? As yeah. to how they they debuted they debuted as a filler. Yeah, kinda like a second act, yeah. Like, not even second, probably back even below that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Back like up. they wasn't like like nobody rated them. No, no. So it's like okay, you guys will do. All right, you guys come. There is. It's like, like you know what? Let's we've got some little time for you. Yeah, guys. we've got some little time, so let's just let you guys just come in and just have mercy on you, kind of thing. Ugh. Due to their company's lack of clout at that time. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've seen the best single speaking. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> from, Why? Right from the beginning. Why? <laughs> <laughs> From sleeping in one bedroom to using their own staff as extras <laughs> to recording an album in a garage. These were just a few things BTS experienced early on in their careers due to their company's limited budget. <laughs> Because some of the members came. Yeah. G Dragon is um one of the K-pop artists. Uh, he's actually, um, I think G Dragon was in Big Bang. Um, so Big Bang with Taeyang right. and the rest of the cool the cool guys. So Big Bang was like the BTS now. What? what bts is now what mm, big bang back then exactly back then well they still are like big big bang is like the biggest like one of the biggest groups there is it's like right. kind of like, like in k-pop basically mm. it's like the beatles of k-pop kind of thing like crazy so they inspired everyone including oh, bts they're like so, the pioneers exactly kind of, they, they paved the way in in a lot of ways for for them for BTS like in r&b in hip-hop mm. you know all of that so that's where g dragon is from so G Dragon is like, like a role model to them. Uh -huh. So that's who G Dragon. G Dragon asked him what was written on his shirt, and he's like, I didn't even know because it's that cheap. <laughs> yeah. I see. Came from an underground rap background, but ultimately chose the path of becoming idols. They were often disrespected. 사실 남준이가 그 언더에서 활동을 했다고 그 이제 그런 사람들이 많아요. 그 아이돌로 올라가서 나는 언더그라운드 활동을 했던 사람이다 하고. 원플이라고 흔히 하잖아요. 그러면은 이제 언더 매니아, 힙합 매니아라고 하는 사람들은 그런 거를 당연히 안 좋게 보죠. 
아 쟤네 쟤네 음악도 안 하고 그냥 회사에서 시키는데도 노래 받아서 춤이나 추는 것들이 무슨 가수냐 니네가 무슨 아티스트냐 저런 애를 더 이상 나오면 안 된다 A rapper told R M. It's crazy because it's it's is the same argument that happens in a lot of the current hip hop right. world, where it's like you're not hood enough. So that was that's kind of like the equivalent yes. to that, where it's like, well, you say you're underground, but we don't know you. Like who are you know what are you talking about being underground? You know, you're not in the underground like we are. Exactly. It's kind of like the yeah. the rappers is like, oh, you're not no, hood. hood enough. Exactly, so. like Eminem. You know, that's like, yeah. well, we, but the thing is. Well, Eminem gets a pass because he was the hood guy, so it's like <laughs> he actually was the hood guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so that's pretty much the same kind of very similar arguments we're using against, you know, them. It's like who who do you think you are, kind of thing. Em and Shiga that they were on the right path, but straight away and were no longer considered real rap hip hop artists, deeming them girls for wearing makeup. <laughs> 다 찍어서 말하고 아이돌을 부릅니다. 네, 맞습니다. 뭐 힙합이 아니까 어, 방탄소년단이 무대에 올라갔을 때 네. 뭐 이제 분장을 한다든지 아, 어떤 네. 메이크업을 하는 거에 이제 네. 어떤 힙합과 충돌되는 분장이 있을 것 같은데 분장, 분장 그런 게 아니라 여자 와, 샷 더, 샷 더. BTS were being. Bro, from the beginning, bro. Right there. They got the chicks in the background too, so they're laughing at me. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's like, ah, uh, and they were younger too, so. They're getting disrespected by older people, and uh, it's like being in church. You and the, and the elder, the elders, kind of cussing you out. Yeah, kind of. You're not doing what we're doing, so why are you wearing makeup? Exactly. You're not good enough. Exactly. Somehow they still were able to strive. That that's interesting. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Being told by several people they would never make it because they came from a small agency. Big Hit Entertainment was at one point near bankruptcy and didn't have the financial power to promote and push BTS the way other companies could with their own groups. In 2014, Suga shared his story about battling depression since pre-debut days. Suga continues to discuss and bring awareness to mental health through his work. Until now, BTS has continuously been transparent about their darkest thoughts and feelings. Not just through their music, but also their very public personas. February 2014 BTS were accused of copying the schoolboy concept for Boy in Love, which came out shortly after another group released their music video, even though the concept is a popular choice amongst young boy bands. April 2014 during a variety show, the host confronted them about this plagiarism accusation. That's the interesting thing about music though. Like you get inspired by other people mm -hmm. and you add some elements from them. Yeah. But sometimes you get accused of copying them, even yeah. though you're inspired by them. Yeah. Because without listening to them, you wouldn't even write exactly. the melody. So exactly. the music can be very interesting. It's very interesting, dramatic, yeah. isn't it? But, but the thing is, it makes it very difficult. Like the fans sometimes, not the fans, but people who are not fans of them. Right. Make it difficult for musicians. Yeah. Because it's like, how can you criticize a musician for doing something that reminds you of another musician or for right. copying right. another musician when music is a general like a universal language that everyone is. gets inspired by. Right, right. But then that that is separate from the fact that whether the accusation was actually valid or not. True. So that's the thing. True. So it's like, even even considering that, let's just give them the argument that they did plagiarize them. It still doesn't take away the fact that, well, that's what musicians do. Yeah. We take inspirations from each other yeah. and do the things that we like to do. Kind yeah. of, you know, kind of thing. Because without the reference, you can't do anything yeah. you need a reference you need reference from so everybody you can do what you looking to do so uh, it's like yeah it's like being original yeah, yeah but being original comes from having multiple points of references yeah combined together yeah that makes it your thing you know that's why you know like even co cover songs for example like taking cover songs that's why people enjoy cover songs from artists yeah. and then other people hate cover songs from artists because they they will say well you come up with a song on your own but then the thing is it's a cover song. The reason it's a cover song is because they've made a song their own. Yeah. So it's like, it doesn't take away the fact that they're great artists. No. Just because they're doing cover songs. They didn't make it ditto. They didn't actually do it the same way. They exactly. still added something of themselves. Exactly. What's so, wrong with that? So, 
So that's separate as to that's yeah. separate as a thing. Yeah. And then you have to consider the fact that whether the accusation was even valid in the first place. <laughs> so many steps. Man. Where it's like what? You know, throughout their careers so it was a coincidence that the uh, the idea for the video mm. overlapped with another group i think the group was exo i might be wrong correct me guys if 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 it's the 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 whole you know and uh, fan beef between other artists come from stuff like this right, where right. there's been serious series of unfair treatments with artists and all of that and one fan base will defend their artists naturally and then this fan base will defend their artists naturally and then there is that kind of thing so it, it stems from situations like this where yeah you know like unfair judgments unfair criticisms and all of these things so it's, it's true you say that because the other artists might actually know that you're inspired by, by them. They exactly. might and they might, they might be, be okay proud. with it. They might be like, <laughs> and then the fans are like, wait, you sound like my favorite. Yeah, it's like that's actually cool. That's actually nice. And then, but then the fans are gonna be like, Yeah. Ah. It's mad, isn't it? It's like politics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's nothing good there. <laughs> it literally is like politics, man. Oh. They've been constantly criticized for plagiarism, often for outfits, props, concepts, and hair colors that are ordinary not just in K-pop, but the expansive world of visual arts. November 2014 Hashtag kick out J-Hope BTS trended on Twitter, calling J-Hope ugly and untalented. Uh, the this, trend this actually became... happened. This actually happened, bro. What's the reason for that? <laughs> Why? Just hate. Yeah. Just that's hate. the only reason. Just hate, bro. Haters be hating. Bro. Like, look at that. Any adjustment to any BTS members would be one of the biggest mistakes in K-pop history. Every member is needed and talented. I think this was uh, from one one person that was defending. Yeah. Like Popular this. enough that their friend and supervisor from their reality show, American Hustle Life, Tony Jones, yeah. tweeted out saying, Every member is needed and talented. Jin stepped in by telling armies to cheer up and that all of them were working yeah, yeah. hard. Armies got Yeah, Jin is the big brother in it. So uh -huh. so he he has to come out and protect. Right. Yeah, exactly. Cuz he's the oldest in it. So he has to be like yeah, yeah. mother hen. Like, Yo. <laughs> That's it. What's going on? <laughs> Together and trended hashtag #jhope you're perfect to comfort him. May 2015. BTS finally won their first music show with their song, I Need You, two years after their debut, but were bad. accused of oh. sacheki. This is when companies buy back albums to boost external sales records. But this was when their company was barely surviving financially, making the claims groundless. May 2015 V was accused of mocking another idol group after they won a music show and were accepting the trophy. People began to send him death threats, however, he wasn't mocking them at all. V was known to be a fan of this group and was singing their song out of excitement. He apologized on Twitter for the misunderstanding and provided screenshots showing that he would always listen to this song before bed. July 2015 Come on. So it's like the the list goes on and on and on. Like we have to pause and just discuss it. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. it's just like mm -hmm. this is just crazy, bro. Like the Sajaki, the Sajaki accusation mm. um, is the one where actually a lot of I think a lot of artists in the West could be accused of that as well. Mm. It's where the record label will buy the records and then that would boost the numbers to say, oh, he sold one million records. That definitely it's happens. like is it actually organic exactly and oh, that happens oh for sure for sure that's the thing yeah, so yeah. they got accused of that because they sold too many records it's like oh, holy shit you know mm -hmm. and then they accused of them of that but then they have real organic build right the fan base is incredibly huge and they invest in bts like big time of course so yeah, it's as like, we saw last time the exactly community, they actually talked to Hope, like like even yeah. the last time with the uh the the uh the investment they made to blm Right. right, they invested one yeah. million dollars, and then the army raised one million dollars to to back that too, which was too. Much. It's like Look at that, yeah, exactly. Damn, you organic know, organic fan base, actual organic fan base. But they, they they just couldn't believe that because they are the early stages, in twenty fifteen. Right. So they've only debuted for two years. So now. it's like how? So it's like how are you? Yeah, big, like, you can't be too no. big like that. Like you must have committed sajaki. So that's the thing. So. Mm.
they just couldn't believe how great they were. Right, right, right. It's like number one hate. Mm-hmm. Like number one hate again. Right. Like, I can't believe you're great. <laughs> BTS abruptly halted their concert, The Red Bullet, in New York due to death threats towards RM. Man. All related no fan precedent. activities were also subsequently cancelled. Attendees of the show were forced to leave the venue, where there was a strong presence of security and police at the scene. Sorry. 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 We love you. I love you. RM also received another death threat for another upcoming show in Mexico later that month. July 2016, people began to debate over alleged misogynistic lyrics and tweets from BTS. Oh yeah, this this was- led to the members and the company reflecting back on their actions. BTS's agency, Big Hit Entertainment, responded with an apology and a promise to do better. Consequently, the band grew from this lesson and have since released feminist overtures such as 21st Century Girl, and in 2019, <laughs> you know that, uh. they, they, you know they, they had to. I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah. I understand. They, they, they had. They had to. Yeah. You know, they had to do what they had to do. Yeah. In responded to their 2014 single "Boy in Love" with "Boy with Love." So the prop, the song that they had a problem with was "Boy in Love." And they had an issue with the, the lyrics and they had an issue with the song because in the music video of Boy in Love, there was an, there was kind of like a scene where, I think it's Boy in Love, right? Cor- correct, guys, if I'm wrong, just feel free to correct me in the chat. That's fine. Um, I think it's, there is a scene in Boy in Love mm. where Jin kind of pushes the girl in the scene. Yeah. But then in the context of it, it made sense. Yeah. There's it's like, because it was like, yeah, in a music video, but then the story that they were being told is like, because it seemed like they were all dating a girl and it was kind of like frustrated because they didn't know who the girl really liked right. and all of that. So he went to confront her and he was like, well, you know, kind of like, um, do you love me or do you not love me? Like, what right. is this? And they right. kind of like pushed her against the wall or something like that. Right. And then that that uh, was an issue. So they know? took that part and then they made an issue, even though the exactly. whole music video made exactly. sense. So they took out the context. Yeah. And then they were like, well, and then they took out the lyrics as well. Mm. And so they took the lyrics and then they took the music video, that scene. And then right. they were like, yep, this, we can't have this. This is too bad. So they replaced that with Boy With Love, which is more like, I'm a Bobby girl. <laughs> but hey, look, that's, that's just my opinion. Right? Hey, that's what the people wanted. <laughs> a collaboration with Halsey. RM has said that since the incident, he pays closer attention to the lyrics he writes reading newspapers and books to study the social phenomena. After he finishes writing lyrics, he consults experts of women's studies to objectively examine the lyrics. May 2016 During their epilogue concert, aunties began to use the hashtag Plagiarism Boy Scouts. Multiple fandoms teamed up to trend this hashtag in Korea. BTS saw this and the media latched on. June 2016 During the variety show Flower Crew, Jungkook arrived at the filming location with a bag of hamburgers for him. Before we even get to this one, Mm. you know, do you know how mad this one actually is? Where, yeah, where like a a rumor becomes, you know, an accusation builds up into a rumor and then different fan bases from different groups latches onto that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To shame you, to laugh at you, and then the mainstream media jumps on that too. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, everyone is just following everyone else without asking a question. Without asking questions, if it's real or not? Yeah. Let's just jump on it because it's fun to. It's trending. Jump on it. it's trending. And it's gonna give. And and you know about mainstream media news? They only do things that bring attention to them, that bring clicks to the. It has nothing to do whether something is true or, or not. No. We already know this, so it's like. They saw the opportunity and obviously they had to monetize that opportunity. So the mainstream right. media jumped on it as well. That's right. So it's like, it's how do you even win against yeah. multiple fandoms against you and then the mainstream media? It's like, how do you even win? Yeah, exactly. You, know? you just have to go through it. And and, and that, yeah. that explains a lot as to why protective the army is to the B, to BTS. The BTS it's like yeah. how protective they are to them because it's like, they've been through a whole lot of shit yeah. from different fan bases all of them just throw in hate on bts yeah, yeah, yeah. but then it's just one so it's like one fan base 
putting down multiple fires. That's right. You know? Different <laughs> different type of like yeah. hard work. So it's like yeah. like BT, like the BTS army, they've built up the Nen. Like they've <laughs> they've built up the army because they've fought multiple yeah. fan bases. <laughs> and they've just they, and they've calmed everyone down now. Yeah. So it's like the slight criticism mm. to BTS is like it's gonna be met with like For sure. For sure, for sure. <laughs> it's the whole fan base. So anything you say, nah. <laughs> They got BTS is back. That's why I was laughing my head off when you were like, this one is like, whoa. <laughs> I'm not doing it on purpose. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But yeah, that's that's the context behind that. It's it's crazy. But anyway. It's hashtag in Korea. BTS saw this and the media latched on. June 2016. During the variety show Flower Crew, Jungkook arrived at the filming location with a bag of hamburgers for his cast members, hoping to break the ice. One of the cast members made rude comments and turned Jungkook's offer away. BTS has since filmed another variety show with the same host, and spirits seem high. I wonder why. It's because they're up. That's why. It's because they're up. Very interesting. Yeah, exactly. Mm, I wonder why spirits were up. <laughs> it's because they are up. Yeah. That's why. I'm up. <laughs> so now you up. Mm. Man, people are so fake. Like, people are so fake, man. Got a lot to say about that, but it's interesting, bro. If the mainstream media bigs you up, then automatically he's gonna do the same thing. But if, if obviously it's the opposite, then he has to let's follow what the exactly. mainstream media does. No one rates you, so I can't rate you. And if everyone rates you, then I'm gonna have to rate you because everyone rates you. That's why you have to keep your circle closed, boys. That's it. That's like, it. that's why you have to keep your circle closed because the people that rated you in your lowest moment, you know, are. I still are gonna be around when you are in your up moment, like. That's but right. then people that put you down, and then all of a sudden you're rating you because everyone else is rating you. It's like it's a bit fishy. <laughs> bit fishy. <laughs> September 2016, Antis made yet another project called Break Wings Project to try to sabotage their comeback in October. The project was caught and stopped once comments on YouTube broadcasting the project were put on blast. Wings then went on to sell 16,000 units in its first week, appearing at number 26 on the US Billboard 200 chart, setting the then highest record for a K-pop album and making BTS the first and only K-pop act at that time to log three entries on the Billboard 200. Because of this, Antis took strategic pictures of non-armies and claimed that there was no line in stores that sold physical albums. October 2016 Imagine the effort you have to go through to go to stores and take pictures to say they are not buying their records as they are claiming as they are buying and then post it. That's right. Like, That's it right. takes so much effort to hate yeah. for no reason. <laughs> you use that time to do something more productive. But... <laughs> Um, like you actually went to stores, took pictures of places where their, their records weren't, and they were like, "See, no one is buying their record." It's like, yeah, where are your records? <laughs> what is your life? What, what, what is your you life? <laughs> what are you doing? Like, man, imagine that. Teen. It's, it's sad. During it's sad. the Busan One Asia Festival, fans were told a couple hours before the broadcast that BTS were no longer appearing because one member was absent from an injury. Even though a countless number of fans were already present at the event venue and BTS was ready and willing to perform. Oh. BTS ended up performing for the fans who attended the event and waited all day. But it was at the end of the event with leftover confetti, wow. no proper lighting, and no cameras rolling. Their performance was not- Yeah, it seems that they were being set up like for failure on purpose. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. You know, you know when you watch an action movie and then the um, the main character is you know wants to I don't know save save let's say save their loved one mm. and the loved one is up in the tower yeah. and in order to get to the, the to the tower you have to fight all of these minions 
to get to the like you yeah, know like john is. wick <laughs> just fight everybody and then it's like it's it's such a no-win situation because it's like mm-hmm. by the time you get there you're tired yeah you're beaten up mm-hmm. and then they're just watching you they, and they're proactively putting mm-hmm. things in your way just to just stop you to stop yeah that's it <laughs> like, why you hate why the hate what's the reason damn man uh broadcasted and, o- and one other thing as well psychologically yeah just as bts imagine performing on someone else's confetti right 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 yeah i know i know like <laughs> like nah bro that, that i can't take that i can't that's disrespect man like someone has performed and yeah. blown confetti so it's like they've had their glorious moment and then i go aftermath yeah. to perform it's also it's almost as if if someone needed an ego it would be that perfect time to Yo. actually be like why would i perform in this stage when, yeah. when there's confetti like I've got Yo. enough pride and ego, but Yo. still, they were like, you know what? No, no, no. This is a chance. Let's, let's just keep doing it. Yo, damn, you raised like, that point. You, ra- you raised a mad point. Anyone would be like, nah. You raised a mad point. They they, they, they let their ego go. They, they, they... During this time. Bro. Because this is, this is what, what, 2016? 2017? 2016. Really? So, oh. they've debuted for three years now, right? So, they are somebody. Yes. Right? So... They had to let their ego go to perform yeah. this, even though they are missing one member. And, you know, the backstage lights is removed. There's confetti on the stage. They still went and performed because the fans were there. And this was like at the end of the... At the end of the show. Just show. Nah. There are too many, like, things to just, you know, say, you know like, what? I'm what, not performing. Exactly. <laughs> one would be easy to give up. Exactly. Exactly. Crazy. Wow. And no cameras rolling. Their performance no was ca- not... No cameras! Mm. <laughs> what the hell, bro? No. Broadcasted and only fan cams were taken. October 2016, during BTS's Blood, Sweat, and Tears promotion in South Korea, BTS wasn't given a waiting room at the broadcast center. So the members mm. made do and practiced, got dressed, and did makeup in front of the bathrooms. They would practice non stop without resting, greeting other staffers who were going to the bathroom and other idol groups would openly look down on them. This comment was left under a video uploaded by Wei, a member from Crayon Pop. Wei responded, Yes, that's right. All I remember is their hard work and efforts. I especially haven't forgotten RM's voice practicing Japanese. November 2016, V made- Wait, there was, there was, there was a, um, is their hard work and efforts. I especially haven't forgotten RM's oh, voice okay. practicing Japanese. So. November 2016, V made a heartfelt announcement during their muster that his beloved grandmother had passed away. Mm. And he saw this as an opportunity to twist his narrative and intentions, sending him death threats and accusing him of using her passing as a ploy for attention. Bro, the- <laughs> it's out of his control. Like, what can you do about that? <laughs> they were not giving them any break, bro. No. That is silly. Man. Silly. November 2016, Big Hit released a formal statement about taking legal actions regarding malicious rumors, false statements, and personal attacks against BTS. The company continues to pursue legal actions against perpetrators to this day, enforcing a strict no settlement and leniency policy. November two. I can't read any of that, bro. I can't. <laughs> a bit too I, I can't read. Like, it's like it's like just just, just trying to. <laughs> but you know what? I do respect that though. Yeah. It seems that the higher they've become, or like they've mm-hmm. gone through, and then also the label is a big hit. Yeah, big hit. Yeah. Now that they've reached this point, they can actually fight From action. Yes. Exactly. Yes. So before they had to kind of stay quiet because they yeah. were they were still building. Yeah. Still their... new. Exactly. What can they do? Exactly. They probably they were, could, but it was still new. They were grounding their roots. Yes. You know exactly. So now. <laughs> now they have tea they're like nah 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 I'm not taking this nah <laughs> yeah that's so fair it, enough it just goes to show it's, it's, it's such a lesson in life as well it's like mm-hmm. you have to pick your battles you yeah, know and, yeah. and, and not every time do you have to fight no. and there are times where you can, you, 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 you're gonna have to take the L because you're not you don't have the teeth yet you don't have the claws yet but then the moment you have the claws use them <laughs> you can't take you can't take disrespect man nah. you can't take disrespect you can't you have to be like nah nah it's time for everything. Time for everything. You know? Time to fight. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Man. 2016. 
Fans of another group were upset that BTS won Album of the Year mm. at the Melon Music Awards, claiming it was done out of charity and that miscalculations were made. They called Melon Customer Care, where an employee explained that the company's internal data proved that BTS scored higher. Audio of the conversation was released. <laughs> 저희가 보는 거랑 뭐 멜론 내부에서 보는 거랑 그러면은 데이터가 아예 다르다는 소린가요? 아니요. 똑같으시고요. 고객에서 보셨던 거는 차트랑 네. 그리고 스트리밍 그 실시간 그 앨범 자체가 나오고 나서 순간 차트에 대한 그런 데이터를 아십니까? 그건 아닌 거 같아요. 고객, 고객께서 보신 전체 데이터 수치는 아마 보시기 어려우실 거예요. 그 데이터는 로에넬만 갖고 있고요. 고객께서 봤던 정리를 어떤 식으로 진행하셔가지고 어떤 식으로 보신지 모르겠는데 고객님들께서 정리해서 보신 거는 그 차트 차트 반영에 관한 내용들이고요. 네. 그 부분이 아니라 1년 동안 고객님들께서 스트리밍 돌리시고 앨범을 산그 이용구 말고 많은 대중들이 전체적으로 그 듣잖아요. 네. 그거에 대한 결과 전체 음원 합산 점수예요. 내부적 고객께서 지금 생각하신 게 혹시 내부적 이게 비리가 있는 거 아니냐라고 생각이 드실 수 있는데요. 네. 뭐 제가 말씀드릴 수 있는 부분은 비리 전혀 없으시고요. 방탄이 1년 동안 보다 스트리밍수가 많이 받았다. So if I'm, if I'm getting it correctly, someone's calling mm -hmm. to question why they won their award. <웃음> What time do you have? Like, go home and sleep. Do something else. What? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, the hate is strong. It's strong, you know. <laughs> the hate is strong, bro. Oh. They, they won it. You can't take it away from them anyway. Like, so they won it. Stay with the reality and just bro, admit that they won they it. Can't you can't take it away. They just can't deal with it. They sure. couldn't deal with it, man. They, they couldn't deal with it. These man. people. These people. February 2017, BTS were accused of plagiarism after their performance at the Gaon Chart Music Awards. Again. The part in question was when the no signal bars on screen resembled another group's past stage. To make matters worse, the creative director of the group in question created a post on Instagram with the captions, hmm, our hard work and siblings of the group liked that post. Gotten Charts eventually posted an official statement in regards to the accusation, admitting that their own production team was in charge of the graphics, not Big Hit. BTS has not attended or performed at Gotten Chart Music Awards since. Mm. Only So they did it. It wasn't BTS. It was right. their own their own production team that did that did that no signal post and they're blaming the band <laughs> yeah. at least know what you're talking about rather than blaming people yo man like if 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 i were if i were bts bro i'll be like <laughs> you know what just screw this i'll be throwing <laughs> shit at the screen i'll be <laughs> like, i'm like man screw y'all like i'm done you know like what? I've reached my limit. That's like, it. The hate <laughs> is too strong. The hate is too strong with y'all. Pre-taping acceptance speeches. March 2007. Let's take it back a second. Has not attended or performed at Gotten Chart Music Awards since. Only pre-taping acceptance speeches. March 2017. Death threats were made against BTS with their target being Jimin this time. This. <laughs> not Jimin, man. Not Jimin. <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> this threat happened during their world tour, and Big Hit addressed this threat, increasing security around the venues. December 2017 Fans of a different group were so outraged by the results at the 2017 Mnet Asian Music Awards that they filed a petition under the Blue House the executive office and official residence of the South Korean head of state. They requested MAMA to be abolished because BTS won, crashing the Blue House petition website, which was meant for the South Korean citizens only, with traffic from overseas.
May 2018, Jimin once again Rather received death sense. threats. Huh? You see, they got traffic from overseas. Yep. And you're blaming the actual was it award? Uh, yeah, the Mama Mama Awards. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, it, it doesn't Pe- make people sense. People will work hard. Yeah. To see someone fail or to 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 hate. Yeah, they'll find a way differently, even though it don't make sense. Let's find a way. It might work. Then, then they um, work on their, themselves. Yeah, yeah. Like I swear, they haven't even made efforts for their own fans, for their own artists, and they make more efforts to hate. That's interesting. You see what I mean? So rather than supporting your 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 favorite band, yeah, you take yeah, more of their the, the, energy to yeah, hate other to people. Hate. <laughs> so at least make it balanced, rather than the ratio being worse than. This, the positivity bro they are calling know. record labels they are calling production teams they are calling award it's like yeah. do you do that for your own artists no mm. like do you, when when the, what was the last time you called <laughs> an award show <laughs> an award for show like, for your, your own artists. artists why did you call for your artists <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wow. Amazing. <laughs> this time during their Love Yourself tour in Fort Worth, police tweeted soon afterwards that they were investigating the threat. November 2018. On November 7, a South Korean court ordered a Japanese company to compensate them for wartime labor during Japan's colonial rule of the Korean Peninsula. The next day, Japan's TV's Asahi's music station announced that they have cancelled BTS's appearance on their show, slated for November 9th, due to a recently resurfaced screenshot of a member wearing a t-shirt depicting a photo of an atomic bomb and of Koreans celebrating their independence from Japan. The band subsequently became attacked by the extreme conservatives in Japan, and the news was picked up by the Western media. Of course, the Western media. Bro.적적인문제가됐다기보단그건비밀이었고사실은강제징용배상판결에대한이보이콧을하고싶어하던일본의어떤그멘탈리티가그대로표현된거다라고생각을할수있는데그래서그다개대륙에그니까전세계
이 저희 회사 범팀에서 작가님이랑 이야기를 하고 있고요. 저희 의견, 저희 생각도 회사랑 동일하다고 생각을 하고 있습니다. 네, 그 조건에 대해서는 회사에서 지금 처리를 하고 있기 때문에 뭐 결과가 나오면 알겠죠. 네, 감사합니다. Sugar mm-hmm. gave him the PR mm-hmm. answer, the prepared answer. It's like, yeah, yeah. I'm not, yeah, we're not gonna. Yeah. I mean, I know it's a bait, it's a bait question, isn't it? Because it, exactly. they could have easily said we didn't do any plagiarism, which they didn't. Mm. So, but then he was like, okay, like they, they have to give the official answer that the, the record company would give. Exactly. As well. There seems to be an interesting way of backing yourself or defending yourself professionally. Yeah. Yes. What Sugar did. Yes. You could have easily, as you said, said we didn't do it, and it yep. ended up on the on the news. Yep. And that that is the difference. That's the difference between a public accusation and a business accusation, because this was a business accusation, and the way you come at business, you know, legalities is way different from how you deal with people in the public. Yeah. And that's why sometimes people don't understand like artists and 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 celebrities, because they're like, well. You know, oops, yeah. sorry, man. Oh. My chair keeps sinking me. <laughs> it's all that gym in weight. Um, <laughs> but it's just like, well, he didn't do this. He didn't do this. I don't understand this. It's like, well, no, when it comes to business, legality, like not everything. PR get to, answer. PR answer, for sure, man. You, for sure. you, you have to you have to train. And it's cool that they, they, they are all trained. Mm. And like Sugar just picked up the microphone like with no hesitation like yep yeah, i'm gonna answer this question because yeah, yeah. uh, president was answering bare questions and he was writing bare stuff down ah, yeah. and she goes like nah, i'm gonna take this I let's take some pressure way. off him a little bit exactly netizens later uncovered an article written by a reporter of the same name on another entertainment company's news website april 2019 SBS Inkigayo excluded BTS's Boy With Love out of its charts for the song's first eligible week. Questions about the criteria used by the music show were raised, while SBS continued to claim the calculation period did not fit with BTS's album release time. To this, Dispatch compared BTS to another group who also released a song on the same day. That group entered the rankings and took its first win for their song that week, while BTS were left out of the rankings entirely. December 2019 JTBC reported that BTS went against their own agency and planned to file a lawsuit against Big Hit Entertainment. Big Hit pulled out receipts and released a lengthy statement on behalf of Big Hit Entertainment, BTS, and the members' families. They called the media company's journalism practices into question, stating, We have not only the video that JTBC used for the first report, but also the CCTV video that recorded the footage of the journalist breaking into our company. December 2019 NBC is accused of abusing their power to purposely prevent other groups under Big Hit Entertainment from appearing at their year-end show after BTS chose to appear on the US's NBC New Year's Rockin' Eve countdown in New York City instead of NBC's year-end program. According to Osen, multiple industry sources shared, ever since October, When BTS's side told NBC that BTS would not be appearing on NBC's year-end music festival, it has been difficult for singers associated with Big Hit Entertainment to appear on NBC. It is already an openly known fact in the industry. January 2020 For 29 years, the Seoul Music Awards only had one grand prize, also known as a desang. But in 2020, they created a second Daesung for digital music. BTS won the Daesung for physical music only, even though their stats proved that they should have also gotten the Daesung for digital music uh, as well. It would actually make more sense if they got the digital. Right. Right. Like it would actually make more sense, but yeah. they, they just like, nah, we can't give it to them because you want a physical. Way. It's harder to get a physical. It's easier to get a digital, which easier. the digital is clearly them. <laughs> well, it's like, hey. we can't let you get two. No. Because it's just not, just not. Yeah, it's just it, not 
Fair. Even yeah, fair. You but it is it. like, but they want it. The facts say they want it. They give it to hate. them. Yes. It's just, uh, no, nah, let's give it to these guys. Yeah. <laughs> you know why? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah. that's, that's what's funny to me. It's just the effort that people just put in just for the sake of, just, just for the sake of, even though there's evidence, clear evidence. There's evidence, just you go go ahead with what the evidence say. Yeah. And then the, the other accusation that um, they went against Big Hit. Yeah. Right. Which is like, that's like someone coming to someone coming to you and accusing a friend that you're really close to that they said this about you. Right. And then you, that's the thing is like what, what Big Hit did. The, re, the reason Big Hit is was really good at that time is they had a good relationship with 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 them so obviously mm-hmm. they sorted out their differences in the background of course and then they were like well did you guys do this and it was like what the we don't know what they're talking about right, right so then they came out in one accord to to solve the problem yes but the thing is the way business works and the way mainstream media works is you don't even need evidence you just need the rumor because uh, that's the thing because yeah, once there is a rumor that bts is finding a lawsuit against big hit that's all you need yeah whether it's true or false, let's it, run with it. It doesn't matter. And that, the more popular it becomes, it becomes true somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, it's just the accusation. They just want, the accusation was enough. Mm. The accusation was enough to, to just cause a disruption. Yeah. Whether it was true, doesn't matter. <sighs> music business, man. Man, music, music business. business is cruel, bro. Cruel. <laughs> BTS did not appear in person to accept the award and has only sent ah, okay. in video. There we go. There we go. That was me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so good. BTS oh, did not appear song. in person to <laughs> accept the award and has only sent in video acceptance speeches since Petty. July 2020. <laughs> Naver, the Google of South Korea, reportedly invested over 80 million dollars into another entertainment company after losing out on profits from BTS who chose to hold an online concert through Weverse, a mobile app and web platform developed by Big Hit Entertainment. BTS earned at least $21 million in ticket revenue. According- that is big. Now that-, <laughs> that That is big. That is business. That is big. Do you that know what? is- It's almost as if saying, if um, the external people do mm. not praise us or, you know, how do I say it? Ray- value us. Value us. Yeah we'll make our own thing and then through there we'll still have the fan base anyway and you see how crazy big hit has developed over time where they got to a point where they created the weavers yeah and then they were like all right our own boys put you in the let's let's put it's it's just like it's just like what yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. like the plan was just too much man it's like all right that's like taking them off google it's like okay we're gonna take you off google you're gonna take you off youtube because YouTube is Google, yeah. right? We're going to yeah. think of YouTube and then we're going to put you on this app. And that app that we made will still give you the same or more amount of fans or popular popularity. That's crazy. Because people actually will go straight to that app anyway. <laughs> Smart. And the, the funny thing, they still use that today. That's crazy. They still stream on Weavers today. They still do that today. That's a big move. That's a big boss move. <laughs> that's a big boss move <laughs> talk about business man Ugh. yeah that's like that's like when Kanye West left Adidas yeah. and Adidas lost money and then they got him back again that's all it is that's all it is like you need us that's, that's you what it need is. me you need, that's all it is you need me and it's more of like ownership as well it's ownership ownership yeah ownership man <sighs> ah. another point <laughs> yeah there, there are so many points like when I'm shaking my head, I'm like, I've got so much things to in. Like... Like, bro, so many points, bro. You know when Messi, you know Messi is now in in America. In yeah? America, yeah. He was offered like somewhere in the, in the ranks of like three hundred million, two hundred ninety million dollars to play in Saudi Arabia. In Saudi Arabia, and then they offered him fifty million in America. In America, but then he had ownership in the team, and then he had ownership here. He had ownership there. He Thank was like, you. "Yep, I'm gonna take that." Thank one. you. And people Thank are like, "Why did you not take the two hundred million? It's like he's thinking ownership ahead and ownership. ownership. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, that's it. Hmm. I drink, I drink, I drink, I drink, <laughs> I drink. <laughs> Literally, you're not gonna understand what that is. <laughs> Brains. I drink, <laughs> I drink. Man. According to an analyst at security's firm, he stated, "Naver lost BTS, 
the most popular IP of K-pop, and must have felt the need to invest in entertainment to form a stable relationship. Since 2017, fans have noticed that South Korean platforms such as Naver and media journalists were ignoring and downplaying BTS's achievements. Popular websites hardly posted anything this is, about This is massive. In their own country, mm -hmm. they are being kind of blocked, basically. Yep. And to canceled. me, yeah, cancelled, canceled. that's the right word. Yep. And to me, knowing where BTS is now, it's like, the only question is how? That's it. How? I, I get it, obviously, through this documentary. Yeah. They go weep. When, they when, made when, when majority of the media in your own country is giving you negative press, like, there is no way you can win with that with that amount of negative press. Like, no every, every, every paparazzi, every media around you is trying to get the negative side of you. Yeah. Like... Every direction is trying to block you. So, where do you find a way to get, to get out or find a way in, in general? And they still made it. That, that's that's my it. question. It's like, wow, and then how? <laughs> it's like, Mad. But it, it also, even, even you know, a good example in, yeah. in, in personal lives is the people that really want to see, you know, doesn't really rate you or doesn't want your success will downplay your success. They will mm. pretend as though you're not achieving your success. They are not going to share it. They are not going to talk about it. They are going to. They are not going to say how proud they are of you. They're not. They're just going to downplay it. They are not going to criticize you. So they go from criticizing you to pretending as though you don't exist. Mm. And they do that all in the background, which is interesting. In the background. We've discussed that before. Interestingly, not on your face. They yeah. might see you. Ah, hey, what's going on? Yeah. But in, in the, the meantime, back, they're just this, like pulling you target. down, yeah, exactly. and all of that downplaying, which is making yeah you know, things worse. Because obviously, who's gonna look at you like with respect? That's mm -hmm. that's basically what it is. And yeah. that's how CBTS is like. All every direction was blocked, and how did you guys still strive? That's my word, Bro. strive. Yeah, it's a Man. good example you made, though. It's a good example. It's crazy them nor did they feature bts on their front pages music critic kim hate. young day and popular <laughs> political commentator kim oh jun recently discussed this issue who do you say cookie piece of cool is on and some day or chocolate in the hands of a photo bts in a good program by john do a consumer she's up to all of under on the day okay pia jamian are just running from top da 호들과 떨기 그렇게 좋아하는 이 기, 미디어들이 왜 이럴까? 궁금증이 평소에 있었거든. 연결되는 이야기예요. 기자들이 일단 BTS의 성공은 뭐 이제 어느 정도 보도가 돼요. 그러면 우리가 흔히 알고 있는 소위 대형 기획사의 아이돌이 그것보다 사실은 못 미치는 어떤 활약을 보였을 때 미디어에 보도되는 양이나 그 커버되는 범위를 보시면. 아. 확연히 차이가 납니다. Uh, 굉장히 좀 재밌는 부분이고. So the data shows something different, but the noise seems way bigger than the data. Exactly. Huh. And, and the thing is, when other groups, <laughs> when other groups done something lesser, right, they hype it more. Right, right. But then when when they achieve something clearly bigger, they kind of downplay it. So they overhype, mm -hmm. you know, and then they downplay. And Which when is, they don't play, they do it strong. It's not exactly. Small, yeah, 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 it's like proper. Yeah. Oof. It's pretty much politics. Like it's just Thank it's you. literally Thank what politics, politics is. Politics. That's what politics <laughs> is. Like, yeah. that's what is done in Ghana when you don't like a, a, a particular political party, a particular politician, a musician. Like that's what that's what's done in third world countries, man. That, it's all about downgrading, 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 down, downgrading and overhyping. There is no truth in either of them. Like it's. But but that's the thing. The media's job is not to bring you truth. The media's job is to bring you entertainment. <laughs> I mean, that's the media's job. Not to make this even more sadder. Yeah, it's kind of like hip hop, where it's yeah. like um, Big and Pack. Oh, where, you know what I mean? It's like oh, they were actually friends. They yeah. had interviews together. Yeah. yeah, but the media, East and West Coast, made it so much bigger, and then the end was very tragic. Bro, and they were actually friends. Yep, yeah. they knew each other. From what we know, it's not the, me the media man. <laughs> anyway, 이번 그래미 같은 경우 어떻게 들어가냐면 주요 부문에서 등극에 실패했다라고 한다든지 <laughs> <laughs> 여러 가지 유전이 이거 하나가 
중요하다고 생각해요. 뭐냐면 BTS라는 이 현상, BTS의 미국에서의 성공, BTS의 세계적인 열풍 자체가 제도권의 시스템을 거치지 않았다는 거예요. 어. 그래서 이 제도권을 점하고 있는 그 언론일 수도 있고 음. 뭐 프로모터일 수도 있고 음반 회사일 수도 있죠. 이 사람들이 보기에 썩 납득이 가지 않고 음. 유쾌하지도 않아요. 자기 힘이 인증. If I get it correctly, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. They didn't get popular through their specific if our industries or like labels, and that's why even Weaver is that the app that Weavers. even makes Weavers makes more sense. Because it's like it's theirs, so whether they mess up or not, and they're not gonna mess up because it's BTS. Who's gonna tell them shit um, or anything? I don't know if I can curse. Who's gonna tell them anything? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they didn't go through the usual yeah. route that 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 you need to go through to become successful. Right. Or you need to pay attention to the media. You need to shake the hands of these big people. You need to meet these big person. You need to pay, and they were like. I don't need any of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> they it. They just went up anyway. They just went up. They were like, damn, they're up. And they didn't use us. Mm -hmm. So let's just bring them down because yes. we can't validate it. Mm. Because if we validate it, it's going to look bad on us. That's true. It's going to prove that we are useless. And we are below them because exactly. they made it in their own way. Exactly. So they had to. Yeah. <laughs> Hate it. 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 Hate December 2020. For the last few years, BTS has been the face of political discourse on the revisions of South Korea's mandatory military service, even though BTS and their company have not spoken about wanting postponement or exemptions, and have insisted that they will serve when called upon. In wow. August 2000... So, yeah. What? You know this about Korea, yeah? Did not know this. Yeah, so in Korea, they, at, at a certain age, I think it's, uh, I, I'm not quite really sure at, at what age or what timeline, so I'm mm. not even going to say it because I might be wrong. But at a certain time, as an idol, as mm. a celebrity, basically, you have to serve the military. Like, everyone has to serve the military. As a celebrity? Yeah. It, no, like, the uh, average person has to serve. Right, right. Okay. Everyone has to serve. So, yep. it, the celebrities are not exempt. Uh, idols Look are not that. exempt from it. Wow. You see? So, like, that's the thing. And right now, currently, uh, Jin... Uh, started serving last year and J-Hope joined him. Wait, you're telling me they... Wait. They are currently serving. So Jin is currently wow. serving right now, currently serving. J-Hope is currently serving right now. Yeah. Wow. So they, they are all... Well, I think aside from Sugar, because yeah. Sugar is going to serve, but he's going to serve in a different way. Mm. Um, Have they taken a break from music or they're still doing music and serving? I guess that's, that's going to be a good question, question for another video, but... <laughs> That's a good question. It's just what do you guys thing. think? Should I show yeah. him? Should I show him that video? Or maybe maybe I should or should I give him a short answer? I'm just very curious. <laughs> it's like you guys are so disciplined. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna save it for the next video. I think we're gonna move on no to the problem. next video. Yeah. <laughs> 2018, all major South Korean entertainment companies held a meeting to discuss petitioning the government to revise the law to allow K-pop performers to be exempt from service. In addition to the top artists, musicians, and athletes that already qualify. Big Hit Entertainment was not among the agencies, but BTS was used as the leading example for this revision. On December 22, 2020, the Ministry of National Defense announced that a revision has been made, effective June 23, 2021, where popular culture artists can postpone their enlistment until age 30, with the requirements that the individuals must have been recommended as recipients of the Order of Cultural Merit, one of the highest national honors given to artists in South Korea. In April, mm -hmm. that is work. 
yeah. you have to get in order to qualify for that exemption. Right. You have to get these merits. You have to... <laughs> I mean, it's easy for BTS, but it's still like rah. <laughs> yeah, for real. It's <laughs> the highest of the highest awards. 2021, 26 agencies led by the Korean Music Content Association filed a written objection against the revision, stating that the new law is both unrealistic and unfair. March 2021, BTS was nominated for the Best Duo Group Performance at the Grammys, which was announced during the online pre-show instead of the primetime ceremony, mm. as it usually was in previous years. Unfortunately, they didn't take home the award, but what made fans even more upset was that the Grammys used BTS as ratings bait, teasing that BTS's performance would be quote unquote up next, but were actually placed as the second to last performance during the three and a half hour broadcast. So just to get the attention and you know the uh, streams of. When was the last time you watched Grammys? Oh, I'm not gonna lie, can't remember. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So if you tell people that Bangtan Soyeon is going to be up next for the next two hours, guess who's going to watch it? Everyone. <laughs> ah. So then, yeah, clearly the army was upset of that they didn't win, right? And see, during that time, this was obviously the, uh 20, 2020? Yeah, 2020. Yeah, twenty twenty. So uh, yeah, so I that was when I was just about to get um discover. BTS. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I actually checked out the the Grammy performance. Uh, right. I reacted when they when they did it. Right. So it's like so it's a good point. Yeah, if you put them there, people are gonna watch it, and then you just had. I them have there never for... watched the Grammys ever <laughs> yeah. in my life. Yeah, I've never sat down to be like, I am going to watch celebrities receive awards. <laughs> like, I watch the highlights. I just that's don't... what I do. I watch the highlights. I watch the highlights. But if you tell people. But the thing is, it's funny because that's the same for for the for the for the army as well. It's mm -hmm. so like they don't care about the, the Grammys mm -hmm. unless Bangtan Soyeon is on there. Right, right. They don't just they're gonna care about it. Of course, yeah. You know, so it's like using them for it's just yeah. so. And but then it's it's America, so it's like do we it. do we even have any standards for America? Like <laughs> it's all about popularity. It's all about popularity. Like who cares? That's America, man. And only given the time to perform an abridged performance of their song. A former managing editor for the Grammy Awards website spoke out the next day about the Recording Academy and how it pushed back on featuring BTS. But BTS got the last laugh. A live stream of the band celebrating after the event has so far garnered more than 13 million views, compared to the 8.8 .8 million viewers who tuned into the Grammys. That is... March 20... That is just... Uh, I can't even find the word embarrassing literally <laughs> this is a band and it's not just a band it's bts but it's a band and that's a grammy that's an actual ceremony a whole ceremony that's been here for like 50 plus years bro they couldn't <laughs> even get 10 million views bro <laughs> they couldn't get 10 million they couldn't get 10 million americans to watch that shit there's mm. 350 million americans they couldn't get 10 of them <laughs> <laughs> hey embarrassing it's embarrassing bro. <laughs> embarrassing but actually i might be wrong on which grammys this this story was actually on right regarding the grammys that i reacted to so i'm not sure if it's the same grammys but i don't know i don't remember but it's, it's just mm. it's a whole mess in my head but it's just too much Ugh. 21 tops released the garbage pale kids chamois awards illustration and cards unlike the other artists who were featured BTS was depicted as being brutalized and beaten up by a Grammy trophy inside a whack-a-mole. This isn't the first time BTS has been shunned, put down, or bullied. In February 2021, a German radio station host made racist remarks about BTS, comparing them to COVID-19, and voiced his hopes that there will be a vaccine against BTS soon. He openly cursed at them for covering a Coldplay song and said that BTS deserves a 20-year vacation in North Korea. Halsey, Max, Lauv, Steve Aoki, and more artists slammed the radio station's racism and xenophobia. The host and station maintains that it was just a joke and that folks are of too course. sensitive. 
During Zack Sang's show. Of course. See, there are there are jokes and then there's hate. Yeah. You know, there is only so much that someone can take as a joke. But then exactly. we are not children. We are not we're not, you know, I wasn't born yesterday. You know. Someone said I was born at night. But I, was, I wasn't born last night. <laughs> <laughs> I was born at night, yeah. but it wasn't last night. It wasn't last night. You're like, what? A few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like, what do you mean it was a joke? Yeah. Like, are you saying it's only a joke now after the backlash? I was going to say that. It seems that the aftermath is like, oh, it was a joke. It was a joke. After the game attacked. But whilst you were doing it, oh, no, it wasn't a joke. You, were, you meant it. Show, a member named Liam from a boy band called Forever In Your Mind made these comments. Yeah, they're, they're, I agree that they're yeah. a boy band, but at the same time, it's like the rate. I feel like it's like a different, like they belong in a different genre on their own because I feel like there still needs to be like a European or an American boy band to be at the top. And I think BTS can just live in their own. They're BTS. Okay. They don't, you know what I mean? No, nah, okay, they're I like. It. Like they, I don't their think fan that base they're is gonna... so crazy. It's oh, dude, insane. and it's global. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm a fan. I'm, they're yeah, really good. I, like them. They're good I, dancers. I can't, I can't get behind it. I don't understand what they're saying. I got it. I got I just... it. I don't even know what to call them, boys or girls. Because music is music. Music is a language. You don't have to get it. Anyways, <laughs> you know how crazy how Americans walk around thinking the whole world should speak English because English is the best language in the world. I think it's quite embarrassing when you are intimidated by a language you can't understand. Mm. When apparently English is the best language in the world and everyone should speak it, but you can't be the top artist with your English, but someone else can be with sexy, delicious South Korean. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like you know, Kasahamida. You know, <laughs> and then they won, and then you're jealous now. You're now you're crying with your. With your, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like. I feel like it should have been this way, this like, way. Oh, it's not fair. It's not fair. Mm. I feel like. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like typical American bullshit. Man, it is what it is, man. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like. I feel like. Ugh. I don't understand what they're saying. I got it. I, got I just. It. I don't even know what to call them boys or girls because I don't know what they are. Look at these huh? people. Look at this one. I don't know which one he is. Look at those <laughs> highlights, those chunky Tony and Guy <laughs> mall salon highlights and the contact lenses. Like, you are they find every way to just disrespect these guys. Man. Uh, nah, serious question though. Serious question. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Serious question. What's the question? Let's go. Which one would you take out on a date? Like, like, like. <laughs> let's take out the fact that they, let's take out gender. Bro. Let's just take out gender. Let's just say you're gay for one minute. <laughs> let's just say. <laughs> oh, between these two. Let's just say. Let's just say. Let's just what say. These two? You were gay for one minute. <laughs> the way I'm hearing this character and the way she, just... she the way she's bashing Jimin, Jimin. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm, like, like, like. I'm just saying, bro. Like, Jimin. if Jimin came up to me and said, you know. Do you want to get married? I would be like, <laughs> you know, Jimin, actually, it's not a bad idea. Like <laughs> it's not a bad idea, bro. Like, cause I, I don't, I love you, man, <laughs> and I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Like, I don't know so, why, but I do. Are, are you human? You see, what I mean? <laughs> like, it trans, it transcends all of that humanity. Yeah, you know, he, he's Jimin. <laughs> but although this one, like. I wouldn't oh. even, I wouldn't say hi to her in McDonald's. So <laughs> it's like. Oh, man, that's hilarious. Man. Yeah, if I have to choose, I'll go for Jimmy. I said it. And <laughs> 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 Highlights and <laughs> the contact lenses. You are an Asian man. You don't need to look like a girl named Ashley. When I first heard something. Hey, look. this is high school. It's nice for that. It's pretty. You have all the contours and all the eyelashes, and you know you still kind of look like a <laughs> man. This, 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 this is positive. Wait, what? <laughs> this is positive. Uh, how do you say reassurement or like you know? This is bros, you know. I don't even know what I'm saying, but <laughs> you're gay, bro. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know that, right? You know... Am I? <laughs> Why, Why are you, are you gay? gay? Why are you gay? Man? Why are you gay? Why are you gay? You are gay. <laughs> you are gay. Hey, we need to react to that. You know what? <laughs>
I find it's trending now as well, like more than ever. It's always been trending, bro. That shit been trending since <laughs> ever since it came out. It's been trending the whole time. Why are you? He, was, he answered the question and then <laughs> he kept going to the no, no, but no, but why? why? <laughs> <laughs> oh my days. I still oh, boy. How can you like disrespect someone that has it's that just, face? It's just you know? pure jealousy, man. It's just how he looks. Is that his fault? Oh man. Just hate. It's hate. Just hate, hate, bro. Hate. hate. Asian man, <laughs> you don't need to look like a girl named Ashley. When I first heard something Korean had exploded in America, I got worried. I don't know. I oh. think they look very nice. <laughs> oh, that is not what you were saying during the break. How did this become a thing in Western culture where all these you know grown men and little yeah. girls are <laughs> off to little K pop boys? <laughs> Yo how? You give me a how? You give me a girl your hair. You give me a girl your hair. You give me a how in your You give me a gunny? A senior editor from The Economist said, Please no. After BTS was announced as speakers at the 75th UN General Assembly, she quickly tried to backtrack, claiming it was a joke. This led to of course. <laughs> yeah. Just, One day get the backlash. Ah, a it was joke. a joke. It's just a joke. Rather than say sorry, I'm at least apologizing. It's just it a, was joke. a joke. You are too sensitive. <laughs> it's your fault. Because yeah. you. Because I was joking. I was you joking. You didn't read my mind. You should have understood. You should have yeah. read my mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I was joking. <laughs> even though it sounded mean as hell. Mm. Stefan Pollard, a British journalist, to tweet this, and Anne Hegarty. A television personality responding with all this about a little Korean boy band that's fundamentally not important. And the, the thing is, I don't even know who these people are. Right. So it's like, speaking of things that are not important. Who are you? <laughs> this is a genuine question. Like genuine? Who are you? I don't know who she is. <laughs> So when BTS was named Entertainer of the Year by Time Magazine soon after, RM said, We're not sure if we've actually earned respect, but one thing is for sure is that people feel like, okay, this is not just some kind of syndrome or phenomenon. These little boys from Korea are doing this. Mm. BTS have always been outspoken about the injustice of racial discrimination. In the summer of 2020, they used their platform and proudly announced their support for Black Lives Matter and donated $1 million to the organization. With the recent rise and visibility of atrocities against Asians, BTS released a statement on their Twitter standing in solidarity once again. These are just a few of the countless examples of mistreatment, mm -hmm. race. That is Fix You. You know Fix You, yeah? The song. Oh. Coldplay. Wait. Do not fix you by Coldplay. I must have heard it. I must have heard you it. You must have heard it because it's a legendary song, bro. I must have heard it. But that doesn't come in my mind. So okay. Because yeah. I was going to say, we're going to check out, we're going to check out your Fix You song. Let's do it. But I, haven't he I don't think I've heard it. Yeah. Coldplay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> you might break into a whole Coldplay, hmm. a whole Coldplay education. <laughs> I've heard one album from Coldplay in 2000. I mean, you've heard more than I am if you have heard one album. I don't think I've it's heard just... a whole lot from Coldplay, but I have I have checked a few of their bangers out. I haven't listened to a whole album. So you clearly have listened to more than I am, but you haven't heard that song Fix specifically. You. I don't think I have. No, what? I don't think I have. Okay. Have you heard Viva La Vida? Probably heard it, you see, yeah. once again, but... Yeah, okay, okay. I don't okay. remember right, the melody. Okay, you don't... You, yeah, okay. That's yeah. fine. That's fine. Racism and xenophobia that BTS has been encountering around the world throughout their storied career. It will more than likely be a continued uphill battle. As artists of color who are constantly breaking records and barriers, amassing fans and growing in popularity around the globe, hostility and jealousy will come easily from those not afforded the luxury of such a strong and dedicated fan base. As fans who are cognizant of their journey and understand that their popularity comes from their sincerity and talent, armies have a tendency to be protective, and sometimes overly so. If only because of the awareness of what BTS and ARMY are up against when fighting for fair representation.
So shout out to X Celeste. She mm. is a content creator shout herself. So she put all of these things together. It's a lot of hard work. Yeah. So shout out to her. It's pretty yeah. pretty sick. Definitely. Um. Whew. That was that was huge. Dude. Like considering all the hardships. Yeah. It's just still amazing to see where they are now. That's what I'm proud of. To, to even say that. Like, wow, BTS, you've made it this far. And 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 yeah. it's it's crazy because it's like the reason for the the protectiveness of the army is because of all of these things. And right. more, obviously. But it's like yeah. they get such unfair bashing. Yeah, exactly. Where mm. it's like and then people say, Oh, what's a joke? It's like Nah, like you, you hate, yeah, <laughs> like yeah, they genuinely yeah. hate on them. Admit like, it. It's not a joke. <laughs> like you really, you know. And the thing is, it's crazy because, um, in something like in our demographic, like our demographic, like they would say that oh, K-pop is for, like they would say something, K-pop is for, is for girls, yeah, or for young people, for girls and all of that. It's like, okay, have you listened to one K-pop song though? Exactly. Like, no, you haven't. It's like, okay, exactly. <laughs> Maybe you should shut up. Exactly. Maybe you should exactly. shut up, exactly. sir. <laughs> Uh, yo, I mean, not to that extent, but I kind of had the mentality too, not to that extent. That's the thing. Not to that extent. That's the thing. Because I still respected their musicality. Well, the thing is that that that's that's how these rumors are carried out. Exactly. Because that's why you only need rumors. You don't need it's true. Uh, whether it's yeah, true or the not. Fact, no. Because you get someone like you, yourself or, or like me mm. that will be on the sidelines. Don't care about any of these things. Mm. We we'll hear one thing to say. Oh, K-pop is for girls. And it's like, and then. It will it will not be true, but it will be some form of a belief in your head. Right, right. That you don't know why you carry that belief, but you just carry it. Yeah. And until you actually do the work to understand, right? Like you always carry these little, little things about about I, you know, not just capable, just no. just ideas in general. In general, yeah. You know, just goes to show, like, what beliefs do you hold yeah. that you haven't actually put in a lot of work no. to um to actually validate it whether it's actually the case or not exactly. you know because we all fall victims to these things when we used to think like this and now until until i started doing reaction videos i had these little minds that i didn't understand why i had them and then until i checked out jimin uh, sorry bts mm. and then <laughs> <laughs> and then now i'm like wait yeah. what that the, these this is the best thing ever yeah. you know so it, it makes it makes us think it makes us think it's no, crazy. agreed yeah that's it. We should do better. Yeah. <laughs> we should do better. Stop the hate. Agreed, man. Anyway, what do you guys think? Stay tuned, man. We're going to be checking out a whole lot of other things as well. We're going to be checking yeah, yeah. out the MMA 2019 concert. So stay tuned for that, man. I'll see you guys next reaction video. Stay tuned. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> peace. Peace, peace, peace.